are you all able to see the screen uh, just write yes in chat okay fine uh, you can see the full screen okay so the question was regarding the hackathons uh, so i have already told you that uh, in mlh if you uh, like provide the projects that are related to a hackathon so they might uh, like this impress the admission team because they will check the participant is so much eager to take part in hackathons and they are submitting the same project that they have if you have won that project that will be really great that you can also mention in the interview as that interview is a like a 15 minute uh, session so there won't be much time but uh, like you can uh, wind up by saying that uh, the project has uh, uh, one this this like my project uh, when i submitted when i got to a technical interview if i talk about my experiences so um, i was rejected for two times uh, when i applied for mlh fellowship and uh, i went uh, for the interview rounds as well but i was rejected then finally like i never stopped applying to mlh fellowship and i was student a second third year student i I always applied. Like I was never disheartened because I always take part in hackathons. Like every month I take part. Every month I create a project. You can check my dev course if you if you like. I'll share the link with you all. You can see what projects I have made. So when you are making you when you are taking part in hackathons and you are creating projects, so you will see like uh, like how uh, how new uh, like uh, changes that you can learn. Like I learned when I take part in a hackathon, there is kind of Replit that is a collaborative coding coding platform. Uh, so uh, like we use GitHub, but uh, I like learned about this Replit uh, new things um, from uh, one of my teammate. So this is a really importance of hackathons, and yes, you can submit those projects uh, for uh, the fellowship as well. How to blend with different communities? Okay, fine. The next question is how to blend with different communities. So for writing this question, like I suppose you are a first year student, you haven't joined any uh, any of the community uh, right now, and uh, you want to mention this answer. So you can you can see uh, like you are in a first year student, so you must be having uh, some of the communities in your college if you have joined a technical community. So you can see there are a lot of coding communities in our college. We take part. We try to uh, like in those coding competitions in coding communities. You uh, like uh, raise very coding competitions. So you can just mention uh, like uh, you have hosted a coding competition and you hosted like two hundred hundred of uh, students. If you have, I'm just giving an example like how you can frame that uh, frame that. Uh, the best part is whatever are your real experiences that you write because they will they can they have reviewed how. thousands of uh, uh, essays if you write anything if you lie in your uh, this essay they can understand that so you just have to be specific whatever you are writing so you can mention uh, like uh, when uh, like when i talk about i was a very active volunteer in i triple e uh, wait a minute so i was very active volunteer of pi triple e uh, if you don't know i triple e it is a international um, society of electronic and electrical engineers they uh, like they have various uh, different volunteers they are working like i have like i am connected with the volunteer they are working in aws google and at the same time they are contributing and they are volunteering so i mentioned this in my um in my essays that uh, being a volunteer of ieee an international community i hosted uh, various coding competition also i mentored student in open source program so they want to understand if you are help helping that community you will do the same with mlh community so that what they want to uh, mention i hope this uh, have answered your question what you can mention in the community they just wanted to understand what are your unique qualities because Uh, in this uh, mls community you will get an opportunity to host a stand up session to host this uh, lightning talks with other developers of your uh, this, uh, other fellow developers so uh, at the same time you will be sharing your experiences so that's they wanted to know like whether you are comfortable while interacting with other people next question is um let me check answer possible okay yeah so regarding this uh, codes Sample thing. 
like i have already told uh, what kind of code sample you have mentioned i just saw a question regarding why we can't submit this jupiter uh, notebook so when i went to their site they have already mentioned that they don't accept this jupiter notebook um, like right now i don't have an, any idea because i haven't submitted a jupiter one but i have created various uh, google collab project i think uh, like according to my opinion if we submit uh, jupiter notebook they can't uh, like they can't review that properly so i think that's why they are not uh, allowing this jupiter notebook but yeah if uh, like regarding this you can also ask this question in the mls discord community uh, you can join that community you can ask and ask mls channel there is mentioned everything you can like if you have any doubt there that is a very helpful community you can uh, you can like simply uh, you can ask that yeah so i took part in mls program mls prep program as well i was a mls prep fellow and uh, so like i suggest everyone if at that at my time in mlh prep fellowship was there so i was a mlh prep summer fellow batch so at that time there was an opportunity of prep fellowship and this this fellowship was have this prep fellowship was happening every two months so i took part in it then uh, i even take part in hackathon so let me tell you about fast track opportunity of hackathon if you if you don't want to apply for this uh, prep fellowship but you want that you should be directly taken to a technical round there is an opportunity of uh, fast track in when you take part in mlh hackathons and you won these hackathon like if you become first overall second overall or third overall so they they have a prize category of fast track of mlh fellowship like you will be fast track directly to the technical round you don't have to provide uh, go to the initial round so even my application was fast track because i take part in so many mlh hackathons that i have won a uh, first overall three to four times several time i have won that first overall so i got that opportunity to apply this time i also have uh, one first overall so i also have a right now also i have a first track opportunity but this doesn't mean that you will be selected for main mlh fellowship it is just a fast track that you will be taken to the technical round and if you don't qualify that technical round you you will be uh, you will be disqualified for that not disqualified but you don't will be you won't you won't be selected for this uh, batch you can apply for the next batch so next question is uh okay i clear the technical interview but i got rejected in essays part could you explain more about essays part and provide me a sample format okay so regarding this like you according to your question you said that you have cleared the technical round of that but when you got the rejection mail it was written like your essays were not perfect but uh, like i have no idea like you already gave the technical interview but still they are telling about the essays so for the essays part you have to see like what um, like i have already mentioned like i have given you can take a screenshot like what key points that you can mention but my better advice is if you talk if you like talk have a talk with any other mlh fellow that they are currently mlh fellow alumni or they are currently mlh fellow they have different opinion in their essays because everyone everyone they have their different backgrounds everyone they have their different thinkings um some of the like some of the fellows uh, when i was in mls fellowship they were saying that um, uh, due to the covid 19 they were not able to got any internship get any internship so they applied for mls fellowship and uh, they were good developers so like they have mentioned that uh, like uh, due to the like covid 19 they were not able to get so this mls fellowship they got the opportunity so you can mention like what problems that you have faced in your career or uh, like why mls fellowship only will help you uh, to shape your career like uh, what if you if you want to do open source contribution then that is free also freely available that you can directly go to their repositories and contribute then why you want to take part in mls fellowship that you have to mention in your essays and keep reviewing your essays if you are writing don't just write the essay and submit it try to ask your family and friends to review them if not family and friends so you can ask uh, like messaging at the mls fellow alumni so if they have time they can review them you can send it to me as well if i have time i'll review your essays so 
next one is as a first year student i don't have a lot of things to mention in my resume um, which they are asking to submit but have contributed to some open source project can we add them in our resume that is really great if you have contributed in your, in some of the open source project you can mention that because you are uh, you are applying so they wanted to know what different uh, like ex any extra curricular thing that you have done any um, uh, like what kind of open source contribution you have done because when i applied uh, like i used to contribute in microsoft repository like i was very active in iot creating iot project so i contributed in make code microsoft projects i added some like uh, micro bit project so these this micro bit it's not uh, available in india so i got it from a technology that is element 14 so i started creating projects with them so i just mentioned that i contributed to mlh uh, this microsoft uh, repository and my pr got accepted and i was really happy that my first pr was accepted to microsoft repository so this thing you can mention because when you PR get accepted, you get so much excited that a big company um, uh, like they have accepted my PR. You can freely mention that in your essays. Next question is, I have won three times in MLS, so it so it's helped me. Okay, so if you have won three times in MLS. Please mention that in your essay. If you have even interacted with community, you can mention that also in your uh, uh, in your essays. Like you have interacted, um, like you have solved any. You are you like I already told you. Like if you uh, love um, uh, like solving any queries, any technical queries, you can mention that you are good at technical and you love to solve other people queries. And uh, you can mention that. So the um, next question is. Does the content in our resume matter and does our website total? Yes, it, it does matter because at the time of uh, like applying, these all four things will be asked. Like any, if you have a resume, if you have a portfolio, they will not be like uh, compulsory you need to add, but, but if you have, you can add that. Resume defines, uh, but uh, in the main, like for the application process, your essays, your code sample matters a lot here. Okay. Okay, so interviews happen just after applying in the program in or two or after the application. So when I applied for the fellowship, like in five to five to six days, I got the interview call. So it it, it don't take that much time for the interview call. If it takes, you can uh, mail to fellowship.mls.io, their mail ID, and uh, they can solve your query. And they if, if you are selected, then they can send you the, in, like scheduling the interview round email. So can I mention my open source experience as I have not been a part of any community? Yes, you can mention that uh, open source experience, like like uh, when you are contributing in these GitHub uh, projects. So you can mention like uh, how that like how when when you started contributing, why you started open source, um, what opportunities that you have got from open source. If you have uh, created some projects and other participants have con started contributing in it, that is called as like if suppose you have created a project and you have uh, added that to GitHub, you have taken that. Project to an open source program. Suppose you have taken it to Gulf Script Summer of Code. If you know about this, I think most of you know about Gulf Script Summer of Code, and a lot of participants are contributing in that project. So you can mention that you your project is helping a lot of uh, students to get started with open source. You can mention that. So, because this is this is a kind of because you have shared your project and a lot of participants are contributing in it. So this is you can say a kind of contribution that you are doing and you are helping other people. So you can mention that too. So how can we add our sample work or merge PR URLs in essay section as a proof or work? I don't think you can add that merge PR or this work because they want a code sample that belongs to your repository, your account. You can you have to mention that because. Um, if you have done a lot of contribution contribution in that um, PR, if you have done a lot, you can mention that. But before adding that, please ask this uh, in the channel because uh, for from whatever I have understand, like uh, they don't add any PR or any issue kind of link in that. They mention a perfect project link in that. So. As you have also got the rejection twice, can you share what do they mention that went wrong if I get rejected? So they mail a personalized mail on what went wrong so that we can improve. So I'll tell about like how many rejections uh, and what kind of uh, like things they have shared in my rejection email. So firstly, when I applied, uh, they rejected me on my essays. So I was also 
rejected on my essays for, uh, the first time so if they wrote uh, in that rejection mail that I, we were not able to understand uh, why you really like how much like why you are uh, why you really want to participate in this fellowship they were not able to understand the enthusiasm in me in my essays so they mentioned the first thing uh, the first rejection was like this in the second rejection mail i was rejected from the technical interview round like i went to the technical interview round but i was rejected so they mentioned in the email like my in my technical interview round the the interviewer they were not able to understand that you stand with other candidates of the same uh, like technical level you don't have that much technical proficiency uh, for the mlh fellowship so like my code sample or if i say my explanation of the code was not up to the mark that's why i was rejected so these are the two cases in which i in which i was rejected so they might mention if you are but i i would say like if you are a student never get disheartened if you get rejection because you have to keep in mind that you just have to try and try once like if this even mls fellowship won't work you will get the main thing is experience that you are getting when you are going to the interview round you are facing an interviewer who is taking lots of interview you are getting you are getting a great opportunity to interact with them so like apply to every batch at, um, like any opportunity that you get try to take part in hackathons if you are not accepted for fellowship because you might never know what project you can create in a hackathon and that might you can get selected to this mlh fellowship so is the competition is as high as gsoc or more i would say the competition is uh, yeah i would say it's equal because in gsoc if i say there are 20 or 30 thousand candidates if they are applying or i think uh, uh, like uh, many candidates are there are like 15000 application but the selection rate is like out of 10000 they are accepting 121 members 120 members for a per batch so this might be a possibility because the selection rate is very less in mlh fellowship and also for if they have the summer a batch and summer b batch so if they are selecting 60 candidates for summer a batch that is for the asia level like asia um, uh, stu like students or professionals and the another batch is for the uh, other uh, other regions so this might be a possibility if they are making other batches as well currently i am a contributor at gssoc so mentioning it will be helpful so you can mention like you are a contributor but the best thing is what what you have contributed in gssoc like suppose if you have contributed um, in a web application project, you can mention that because they know that contributors are coming from a great, good background. They are contributing in open source. They are taking part in open source program, but they want to know what, what contribution you are doing. If the contribution that you are just doing a single line contribution, that won't be that won't be a matter for MLH fellowship because you have to mention what big contribution that you have done in gssoc and you can mention your experiences uh, like how you are like how you started contributing in the uh, in the optional section that uh, i said like you can write anything in that optional question please don't leave that question so i think the questions are over if you have any more question that you can that you okay another question how can we describe them the contribution okay so regarding the contribution let me just describe if suppose if I like I when I did the contribution, like in October first, I contributed to no repository. It's a notification, uh, like they they help in different notification like Slack and all. So I worked on the language translation. So I merged seventeen uh, like uh, my I raised seventeen pull requests during October first in Novo HQ repository, and they were uh, they were uh, merged and they were accepted by them. But while contributing, I learned a lot about these translation techniques. Uh, like how to translate and um, so i mentioned in my um, like uh, form like uh, when i contributed in october fest i was thinking like how should, how how can i start contributing to such a great repository where there are lots and lots of uh, pull requests happening and so when i started uh, like looking at the readme first and then i went to the code base then i got to know that uh, i can work on the language translation part and then I started working on the language translation and I gave like more than seven to eight um, language translation technique and they, the organizers, they were very happy from me. So that I can mention. So you can see whatever you, you just have to mention your achievements, like whatever you, you're learning at that time and how like contributing in Hacktoberfest has helped me.
uh, you can mention. I think most of you have taken part in October Fest. You can mention what contribution you have done in October Fest. Because, uh, okay, so next question is, Ekta, you can ask your query uh, directly here. Okay, talking about JSSUC, can we mention the project on which we are contributing in the resume, like adding MOOCs repo? Okay, so if you are adding directly the MOOCs repo, that won't be accepted because you have to, like, you have to highlight what contributions that you have done in the MOOCs repo. I suggest, like, whatever contribution that you are doing, try to, um, try to learn from those contribution and take part in hackathons and like channelize these contribution, try to make projects from these uh, contribution, uh, like in taking part in these hackathons and submit that project because that will be uh, let like that, because if you are uh, like, if you are applying for this, try to be your best, like try to be at your best state. You, if you create projects on your own, like suppose if you submit the most project now, like there are a lot of projects, there are a lot of people that they are submitting their own project that, that they have created. So they will be given, given priority, right? So try to like uh, take the learning from contribution and make your own projects, but make, in, like, make sure that you don't uh, submit any tutorial project or you have copied any project that won't be accepted. Could you please review the following code sample and give to them? Okay, so regarding the reviewing of code sample, you can send me the DMs on Twitter. So I'll review the code samples and I will let you know. If you want that your essay should be reviewed, you can uh, send me a DM on Twitter and I'll review them. Also try to interact with other MLH uh, like uh, alumni, fellow alumni as well, because when I applied for the MLH fellowship, I like just uh, um, like I messaged many of the MLH fellows. And I think if I, have, I have applied 10 fellows, I think two of the fellows have replied and they, their uh, reply was really helpful for me because um, right now everyone is busy in their own work but there are but there are very helpful candidates as well that they are very um, so they can help you in reviewing your essay so you can send it to the fellows if they have time they can review your essays and you can uh, you can get the answer like like how you can improve your essays i participated lots of mlh hackathon but i can't win off any of them how can i explain this in essay question Okay, so you, you have participated in a lot of hackathon, but I think this is this is not true. One thing, like you say that you haven't won in any of these hackathon, but you haven't uh, said that what experiences you have got in these hackathon. Even if you have lost hackathon, before before the result announcement of this hackathon, you must have in mind that you have contributed a lot in that project that you have created and you have learned a lot. You can mention this thing, like besides uh, taking part in, like even if I talk about myself whatever i share in my linkedin or twitter i always share that whatever hackathons i have won whatever experience i, I never mention that i i have lost in this hackathon i i even i i know that if i take part in 15 plus hackathons i can only win in one or two hackathons but i know that whatever the hackathons that i have uh, like i didn't have win but the main part is the experience that i have gone like why what what what's the mistake that i learned from those hackathons so you can mention that like even after taking part in lots of hackathons I was not able to win, but the experience uh, that I got, like interaction, interacting with fellow developers that you have got, any new opportunities that you have learned from them, you can mention that. How to make quality com contributions as a beginner. So first of all, when you go to any repository, I am talking about open source contribution. When you go any repository, don't try looking at the code base directly. Try to see the readme of the country of the in, of the project, and before that, just see if there is any Slack community or Discord community of that particular project. Join that community and try to interact with the project admin first. Because I see there are a lot of point candidates. They are just creating issues and they are just creating the pull request, even be even not being assigned by the project admin. So this will create a lot of havoc in the repositories because a lot of contributions are there. Try to make friendly relations with the project admins, like asking about what kind of changes project admin wants in their uh, repository try to discuss your idea what idea you have in the project like suppose there is a MOOCs project we have uh, two great contributors in this meeting karthik and uh, nikhil so they are they are in this project from the very beginning and they when whenever they are they want to contribute they just share with me like what changes 
sometimes i accept those changes sometimes i reject those changes but they are okay with that and they bring new changes to that project and uh, they start creating uh, they start implementing those changes as as if if, if that changes are being accepted uh, by me so try to join the community try to see the read me try to follow like uh, what project is all about don't just directly go to creating the issue like i want to add this feature because that 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 will be ignored by the project admin when you uh, when you will like contribute to any of the repository so because when you are um, when you are contributing in this project any of the project it's not about the the code uh, it's not only about the coding that you are doing or collaborating or adding a new feature it's about you are maintaining relations you are uh, you are learning something Uh, interaction you are learning interaction with the uh, project admin they can uh, they can advise you they can learn you how to improve those changes so did you participate in any open source in your first year okay so in my first year like i started doing open uh, open source contribution from the second year in the first year i was very active in community uh, like uh, i uh, at that time also in my 2018 there were i think mls fellowship started from 2019 or 2020 so that that time only mls hackathons were there so i started taking part in the hackathons and i was very active in the community like interacting with the community members and uh, like if any doubts the community have i saw, like i saw those doubts then i became volunteer of various hackathons uh, like i became technical uh, technical volunteer in these so these these every contribution they have helped me a lot in these uh, application that i have put in so as mentioned in the google form i had few question regarding xr development and other project can we have a short one month session okay fine so regarding the xr so like i have like i was mlh fellow then i applied to like the uh, xr open source fellowship so if you don't know about this xr open source fellowship it is extended reality open source fellowship by meta so i am a fellow in that and this this is it's it started with this year only and um, this is a very great fellowship open source fellowship i'll take a session in xr os fellowship as well and the best part that you will get is you will contribute in meta project you will contribute in uh, metaverse related uh, you will be working on those platform also uh, you will be very happy to hear that the stipend that uh, you will be getting is for 4 lakh for 3 months so you can go to uh, i'll just share the link with uh, you all you can check uh, you can check that i'll share it uh, as soon as this uh, fellowship uh, this fellowship after solving the fellowship doubts okay so 10 minutes of the meeting is remaining only okay so aman singh please don't write this thing like uh, one one session and all it it's like they are beginners and if they want a one one session i can i can like answer them i'll create a calendar link you can have a one one session but i'm also a working professional so i don't have time from monday to friday but yeah if i am free i'm very happy to help you all so the next question is is communication skill matter in mlh fellowship yes it's most important in mlh fellowship you should be fluent in english also the thing is whatever you are communicating to them like you are explaining the project they will understand if that pro if you if you are explaining like before explaining or before going to the technical or initial interview round try to prepare your answers if i talk about what questions they ask they in the initial round they will ask you the question the same question why you want to become mlh fellow they will ask how will you cope up with the recent technology uh, technology trends this question is being asked by a lot of con like lot of mlh fellows uh, just keep in mind this question um this is how you will keep up with the upcoming technology trends so like how i answer this question i would tell you like i answered it regarding like i used to take part in many hackathons of uh, massachusetts institute of technology these are the international hackathons and these are one of the biggest international hackathons so i took part in five of them and uh, i won uh, three of the uh, mit hackathons and uh, i contribute i like i worked on the projects where there were nurses and doctors so i even like in that team i was only the technical person means they thought of a technical they thought of an idea like, suppose they thought of an any um, disease related idea like a cancer related idea so they told me to make this application or to make up a mock up or a ui for it so these like i mentioned 
um, when you interact with a lot of people, not only with the technical one, but with the people, those who are from the different backgrounds. Like I interacted with the doctors, nurses. So I got the experience like whatever problem they are facing, can I solve that with my technical proficiencies? Can I create some uh, solutions uh, to these, uh, the, the, uh, the, um, you can say the medical related stuff? So next question, how to make best use of Discord and Slack for networking, connecting with maintainers and all. So I would say like uh, to be active on the Discord, I, if you are any, if you are in a community, you will see a lot of candidates, they have a very technical doubt, like they have a doubt. If in my community, there's it's open source A to Z community. Uh, if you have the link of the our community, you can share so participants, they can join. You can see any issue of Petemi or MOOCs, you have, you can see there is a Discord, uh, the joining channel, you can uh, copy that from from that so in my community they have doubts regarding technical like how to start the project how to run the project how to get started with open source uh, how to get started with git github so if you know like if you know like, the solution of the you can start answering them you can help the admins answering those questions so that is how you can be very interactive in those communities so xr fellow related to blockchain no, XR fellow, I would say it's related to extended reality. So extended reality is a mixture of mixed reality, augmented reality, and virtual reality. Like you have seen metaverse uh, related uh, metaverse stuff. This um, this virtual reality you have seen right now. The Apple has uh, released this Apple AI Vision Pro that that they have released. So this is all. So you can say comes under XR extended reality, virtual reality. So can you talk about XR fellowship? Yeah, I will take a session on XR OS fellowship because uh, if you are uh, like, if you are so much uh, like have an interest in XR, so I'll take a session in that, like how to apply for this, how to uh, take, how to contribute in those projects. Okay. Yeah. Thank you so much everyone for joining. At last, I would say, like I know, now let me like, I'm learning JavaScript right now. I'm first year student, but I apply this year or next year. You have a lot of time for the application. You have all four years you can have, and this fellowship is not only for students. This fellowship is for working professionals as well. You have a lot of time. You can, you can uh, right now, also don't think that uh, you don't have that much profi technical proficiency to apply. So you can take time, you can start learning uh, those technical stuff and then afterwards you can apply for it. So like, at the, I think uh, it's only five minutes remaining. So let me conclude this talk. If you have any further questions, then you can, uh, you can like uh, message me uh, in Twitter. If you don't have, like I'm just sharing my uh, account links okay so at last i would say like i think most of you will apply for mlh fellowship and uh, like when you apply for that fellowship i know that uh, it will be the first time when you are applying so even if you get rejected at the first time, at the first stage, please don't get disheartened. I'm saying this uh, like many times to you all because you have a lot of chance to apply for it and there are many opportunities as well. Don't forget for these MLH hackathons. These MLH hackathons happens every, every week. You can start taking part in these hackathons. You can in start interacting with other people. This happens when you start interacting with people. Some people don't answer, some people ignore you, but never feel um, like low in that case. Always be very active because this is a time that you should be very active and start applying and be interactive to uh, like other people. Start sharing, even if you know, like if you know uh, the Git and GitHub, suppose. And there are a lot of con like participants, they don't know even like what is Git and GitHub. So, start a session on that take a session on like help people in this because when you grow your network you will also learn because if you are sharing your knowledge you will also be learning at the same time so this is all i would say and uh, at last i would say like you you all have a very golden future future and you just all have to march forward and achieve your goal and i i really uh, like say like all the best to you all um, so please share your experiences in Twitter as well of today's session. If you have any doubts, if they are still not resolved, please DM me on Twitter or please and also join the Discord channel. I'll share the link with you of Discord channel.
so you can join uh, my channel you can ask doubts if you have now i'm just uh, copying the discord channel link okay so this is the link for the discord channel okay so the so i got rejected in the application round itself it's okay with it if you are rejected in the application round uh, if i talk about my fellow members when i was in mls fellowship there were member they were rejected four to five times when they got that fellowship so like uh, uh, they said they were they were like crying in the first uh, initial when we have the first meeting with the, our manager like they were they were trying a lot but at the same time i thought Uh, like they were they were so much excited and uh, when they joined the fellowship so i would say never lose your excitement even if you are rejected try again because there are many candidate they don't even uh, they don't even show you when they are selected they were they are they are they were rejected previously for like 40 to 4 times so it's real it's it's completely okay even if you are rejected okay so now i have only two years that i have waste two years because i don't About, know about this kind of it's it's completely okay they those years were not a waste i would say you have you you have two years and these are the golden years of you and you can gain a lot of knowledge in those coming two years by applying to different different programs so next session i will be taking on the xr os session or or i would be taking a session on the mocks project okay so i'll be sharing all the like recording of this session i think this um, like interactive session that right now we are having in the previous session so if you like this session i think uh, only one minute is remaining so i am just speaking less than a one minute is remaining so just let me know how was this session and um, also please don't forget the tutor giveaway because this is my birthday month and i am planning for a tutor giveaway you will be receiving uh, some github stickers from my side and there will be more upcoming giveaways coming like i'll be uh, i'll be sending iot kits these are these are iot kits are for uh, like arduino iot kits i have a lot of kits that i have burn in my hackathons so i am thinking why to waste them i should share with the people do do no today is not my birthday okay so it's my birthday like it's on 15 june so i was i am just planning for um, but thank you so much you have said in advance <laughs> so yeah please don't forget that give away and please uh, uh, follow the in uh, in my twitter and uh, i'll be sharing most of the like very different sessions so less than a minute is a minute and this meeting is going to end thank you so much